How many views do you need on YouTube to make money? There's actually a couple ways that you're probably not aware of, but I am gonna talk about monetization. I'm gonna be talking real numbers, share some real examples, and answer some questions so you can know for your channel how many views you need and what money you can expect. Hey, I'm excited to talk to you for a couple minutes today, Nate, about this topic. Um, the first thing that I really want to pick your brain about is, is monetization because you have to be monetized in order to make any money on YouTube. Right. Um, but then I'm curious about, um, you know, once you reach monetization, what is the average amount of money that you make like per view? Mm -hmm. And then also, um, like how much, how much have you made off of a single episode that you've, that you've produced? Like what are the possibilities out there? Okay, really cool. So I like that you started out the, the conversation this way because there are actually more ways to monetize YouTube. And in fact, the, the monetizing or ad revenue that we typically talk about, that's actually not our main focus. Hmm. So when we're talking about how many views does it take to make money in YouTube, if we are talking about ad revenue, kind of a general rule I always like to say is you've got to get millions of views to make thousands of dollars. And, and so maybe we can, we can share some examples, but on the flip side, if you've got a business and you're using YouTube to generate leads for your business, you can make thousands or tens of thousands of dollars off of hundreds okay. of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. And, and that's typically what most of our clients experience. Um, and it's interesting though, when clients get both, like Noelle Randall, she talks about her ad revenue on her channel, so I can share it here. You know, a $50,000 ad revenue month, that's pretty amazing, but she is sure. getting millions of views on her channel now. Yeah, yeah. But I think, I think that it's pretty natural that, that, you know, when somebody's asking this question, that they are going to want to know how, like, how do you get monetized? Because that's kind of a buzzword. Like, yeah. you know, I see those, like, how long did it take me to get monetized? I see those videos on YouTube. So what, what are the requirements? Yeah, hey, you've got to get to 1,000 subscribers. And you've got to get to 4,000 hours of watch time over a 12 month period. It's, it kind of resets every month. So you look at your past 12 months, you've got 4,000 hours of watch time, and then you'll just be able to go to the monetization section and it'll say, yep, you made it. You can apply now to be in that, that partner program. Okay. But so now let's shift back to what you were talking about and more of generating leads for, for your actual business. So that it, to me, it doesn't seem like, I mean, there's no requirement, but, but how do you get people from the view to becoming a customer of yours? So in theory, you'll have a business already, right? Sure. You already have products and services that you sell. So let's, let's say you have a thousand dollar course that you sell and you put out a video where you teach a principle that's contained in that course. You know, there's some correlation there. And so you're answering questions. You might get a hundred views over the month, right? And at the end of the video, you say, hey, if you found value in this principle that you just learned in this episode, go ahead and click the link below and get my free gift. Well, now they're, they're in your funnel and they learn about the course. So even if out of those 100 people, you had one person buy, that's $1,000. That's $1,000 right, yeah. from 100 views. Yeah, so that's just simple math there. Sure, sure. But compared to, like you said, millions of views to get thousands of dollars in ad revenue, if you look at it in this different way, I mean, obviously you would take a thousand dollars for a hundred views yeah. every day of the week, right? Um, another way to answer this and to tie it in with your previous question about what, what's the most ad revenue I've made on a single video. So I'll, I'll just kind of paint this picture here. So on the Chris Crone channel, we launched a video, how to invest your money in your twenties. I've shared my sequel strategy on other episodes before. Well, this video really took off over the course of two years. It generated 6 million views. Wow. Okay. I received the ad revenue from that. And over that two year period, the, the total amount was 160,000, wow. which is awesome. Sure. Way more than, than I ever expected to get from a single video on ad revenue with, with our how to strategy. But on the, on the business side of things, this video was the lead generator for real estate courses and programs that Chris sold. And my estimate is over $3 million that he made just from this one video. Now I learned a lot from this because people will ask, why do you want advertisements in front of your videos that are lead generators. Yeah. The, this video was a huge lead generator for Chris and yet 6 million views. That's perhaps 6 million ads that have been shown sure. to these people. 
Well, I look at it this way. There's, there's a little, it's a snippet, right? It's 15 seconds, maybe it's a 30 second ad of competitors of Chris, but people know that it's an ad. People know that they're being pitched to. Yeah. And then when they get to Chris, in that episode, he just teaches, he shares, he gives away his knowledge. And, and you know, people are building, it's more of a, a learning experience. There's a relationship there, there's eye contact. It, they know that they're not being sold anything. They're getting an answer to their question. So people know the difference. But then the interesting thing is the ad spend that people are putting to put those ads there, like I get 55% of that. YouTube pays that to me. So it's like there's a, a benefit that I get part of the ad revenue. The biggest takeaway though, is this video had 6 million views because YouTube promoted it. Yeah, and is there a correlation with, I mean, if you, if you don't monetize that episode, because YouTube now has an incentive to put that video out in front of more people once they're pairing ads in front of it, right? So is there, like, do you think that there's a correlation between, uh, you know, the fact that there was an ad before that and that YouTube has had an incentive to promote that video? Like if you hadn't monetized that particular episode that YouTube wouldn't have suggested it to so many people? I think that there has to be a correlation because if, if you think about it, how does YouTube make money? YouTube makes money through advertisements and when it finds a video that pairs well with ads, it's going to start suggesting that video and send way more views to that video because that, that pairing really, really works. Mm -hmm. And so I feel if we turned off the ads, yeah, I don't think we would have had the 6 million views. So is there a reason not to monetize every single episode on your channel? In most cases, I say keep your ads on. I mean, the only exceptions would be if it's, if it's a promo video. And with the strategy that I typically teach, every video is educational. The promo videos go on your website. But if you have public videos that are your promo video, to have a commercial right before another commercial, that sure. really doesn't make sense. Yeah. But all, all the how-to videos, all vlogs, anything like that, yeah, leave your ads on. People are used to ads in the YouTube environment, and if, if they see ads on other channels and they come and they don't see them on yours, maybe they'll notice that they're not there. They might notice something's unusual about your channel if you don't have ads on, because that's what they expect. Hmm. Yeah. Do you find that the subject matter of the episode, do, does that matter with regards to ad revenue? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so if you, I'll, I'll compare two channels. We'll compare Noel Randall and Paul Jenkins with Love on Purpose TV. So Noel Randall talks a lot about making money, about business credit, investing in real estate, Airbnb topics. And then Paul Jenkins talks about parenting. He talks about relationships and positivity. So all across the board, all of them are very valuable topics, but we found that advertisers spend a lot more money in Noel's space. Hmm. So the, the CPM or the RPMs that we look at, you get a lot more money per thousand views on the, on the making money side of things than you do on the, the parenting side. At least that's what we've experienced across several channels like that. And, and it just varies from industry to industry, person to person. Yeah, yeah, and that stands to reason. And that really, I, I wanted to make sure and cover this, this last question that you teased a little bit there, but what is, so once you are monetized, what's the average amount that you can make like per view on, on a YouTube channel? Maybe I'll give you a range, and, and those are two good channels to compare because they, they crossed the 200,000 subscriber mark about the same time. Hmm. So both those channels were similar in the size of the channels. They were pretty close in the number of views that they're getting each day on their channel. And, and I would say Noel was getting about 10 times the ad revenue, wow. 40,000 a month at that point versus 4,000 a month. And those are both numbers that I can share. I'm, I've gotten permission from Noel and she shares it on her channel. And I, I'm a partner with Paul on that channel. Yeah. So in, in the how to realm, I would say that you're going to be somewhere in that in that range but the bottom line is that that's not what you want to be focused on anyway i mean the what the stuff that we talked about at the beginning is going to be way more profitable than than worrying about ad revenue and, and ad yeah. revenue just becomes really really like icing on the cake right yeah i use that phrase all the time because it's it really is just that that bonus if you've got a business how-to content is some of the best content you can make because it's, it's pulling in your target audience, people who are looking for your expertise. And so offering them a program or a product or a course or any, any type of solution. But again, it's not in your video, your video, you're giving away your content for free. You have a call to action at the end saying, Hey, I've got a free gift for you. Then they go to your website to get that free gift. And now they're in your funnel and now they get your, your promo videos and, and they, they buy your stuff.
So speaking of that devil, is there a call to action at the end of this video? Yeah, I want to give away my influencer almanac. Um, in that, I've, it's a resource where I've listed all my tools, my tips, my strategies on how to leverage YouTube and how to grow your influence so that you can make more revenue, more leads in your business. So go ahead and click the link below and you get the influencer almanac for free.